Hi guys, it is a glorious spring day here in the cult, in the end times and the collapse of everything. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful. It is a Monday, uh, that would be somewhere like March 4th, 2024, somewhere around there. And uh, we all know what Monday means. It is time to get the maggots panties in a wad, which is not very hard to get a maggots panties in the wad, in a wad, because it is time for our weekly dump the Trumpty roundup ran, and we're just going to hang out on uh, medium.com uh, today, where we have a uh, I'm glad to see that uh, more and more writers are, are just turning to sarcasm and satire, uh, when, which, is nothing, which is about your only choice at this point uh, in, in the race to the bottom as Donald Trump uh, prepares to take over the White House for another four years. Uh, all you can do is laugh. All you can only hurt when you laugh. So we're going to share some of that uh, that lefty humor, I guess, in a minute. But a couple of a couple of uh, just straight ahead stories. So Umer Hack has weighed in. You know, Umer everything he writes is 500 pages. So, Umer Hack now agreeing with uh, Hambo and Littletail and Elliot Jacobson, among others, that Donald Trump will, in fact, be the next president. Why Trump's re-election chances are rising. Here we go again. Why Trump's winning odds are through the roof. And I'm not going to sit here uh, and uh, read all of this and, and debate. There's probably uh, somewhere in this penetrating analysis uh, is some good information why Donald Trump is going to be president. There, there, there's two reasons why Donald Trump is going to be the next president of the United States. One reason is Joe Biden. You got Joe Biden uh, handing Donald Trump the White House on a silver platter, and you've got whatever it is, uh, 80 million clueless fucking morons. Uh, you know, still, uh, you know, wanting the single most despicable human being on planet Earth to be their savior, their lord. I don't know what the fuck these people are thinking. Uh, and uh, so it's Trump derangement syndrome has now been, uh, as I said last week, uh, has been trumped by Biden derangement syndrome. So these Trump tards uh, have made any uh, I I anybody suffering from Trump derangement syndrome uh, look like pikers. Uh, Jesus. But anyway, Umer Hack, uh, <coughs> who usually calls things right, is calling it for Donald Trump. Gee, what a surprise. And who is this other fellow? Playing it still kind of straight at this point. Uh, this fellow, I've mentioned him before, T.J. Breerton. How did a billionaire reality TV star become the working man's hero? Social science and an, and an economist have the answer. And again, guys, this is a long, uh, drawn out. Uh, over analysis. So you're, you're going to be seeing more and more of these people writing these long uh, articles analyzing why Donald Trump is going back to the White House. As they say, you can sum it up in 30 seconds. 
by Donald Trump. But uh, if you don't like uh, my explanation, uh, so this guy uh, claims we get to Trump in two ways. One, he is a populist like Bernie Sanders, but Trump is an imposter learning as he goes how to rouse the rabble. That is exactly what Donald Trump is. is he's a rabble rouser. That's what he is. The, Donald Trump fits the definition of rabble rouser. He, he, he gets all of the single biggest basket of deplorables in, uh, in human, in, 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 at least in American voting history, and, and he whips them up into a frenzy talking shit. His total point is to rouse the rabble, uh, the, the basket of deplorable rabble. Uh, and it's easy to, to find, uh, you know, 80, 90 million of those people. Okay, the grievances, uh, he, he's talking about this video that he's kind of reviewing this video which I'm not going to get into, are populist grievances, not getting paid enough, wealth and power consolidation to the top, jobs going overseas, blah, blah, blah. Populism means ordinary people who feel that their concerns are disregarded by established elite groups. Trump has made himself the candidate appealing to those ordinary people, but how? Uh, anybody who believes that their concerns are disregarded by established elite groups, uh, that, that is exactly what their concerns are, are disregarded by established elite groups. If anybody thinks that Donald Trump, a billionaire reality TV star, like, uh, like these trailer uh, residents here uh, in, in Denellen, Florida, uh, give a flying fuck about them on any level. They, 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 they think that if you had to pick the one person on the planet who doesn't give a flying fuck about anybody except himself, fucking Bill Gates uh, probably uh, has your fucking uh, better interest more at heart than this fucking uh, lying sack of shit narcissist. But uh, you see it or you don't. So how did Trump make himself the candidate appealing to those ordinary people, otherwise known as clueless fucking morons. How could, and the answer, the short answer is social media, reality TV culture, and an intellectually degraded society. And I'm just going to read a little bit of this and then we're going to have we're going to have some fun. I'm just going to read a cup. This goes on and on with T.J. Brereton breaking all of this down. This is just the first two paragraphs. <clears throat> How could anyone, any clueless fucking moron on this planet, expect their economic woes to be solved by an egomaniacal billionaire with an inferiority complex. Apparent in this video that he's talking about, you know, where they were interviewing some of these maggots, uh, apparent in the video are some supporters who admit it's weird. They just don't seem to connect the how or why. They are guilty, like many of us, of what social scientists call fundamental attribution error, which is, uh, I'm, uh, which is something that we learned in a journalism school, which I can't really 
uh, re remember, but it's something that all journalists are taught about why clueless fucking morons in a fundamental attribution error, error which uh, TJ defines as a tendency to overemphasize personal characteristics and ignore situational factors in judging uh, the behavior or status of others. Uh, but if anybody, what, what I don't understand about that is uh, why, why anybody would see one personal characteristic. But anyway, Trump is a social phenomenon. He is not this popular because of his human skill or potential to actually fix anything. He is not renowned for his inherent qual qual you know, positive good qualities. He is a product of technological and social circumstances, a grifter capitalizing, literally making money on social media alongside a rapacious and bifurcated national political news media that has, since his first run in 2015, provided him billions in free advertising. And uh, then he goes on and on. Oh, uh, uh, anyway. And then he, uh, and then he actually has uh, some a cautionary term for uh, for the anti-Trumpers that uh, the the anti-Trumpers sometimes can <laughs> can be guilty of the very thing that Trump tarred maggots are guilty of. Okay, but anyway, we're just going to have some fun here. Uh, this is a fellow named Jeffrey Harvey. Top 10 signs you are wearing Trump sneakers. Sneakers fit for a despot. And uh, we, we've all, uh, you, you know, as, as if you haven't heard these stories. So anyway, what are the top 10 reasons you might be wearing Trump sneakers? Number 10, the price tag is in rubles. Number 9, excess padding up top, no sole underneath. Number 8, after 2024, they'll only be available at foot lockup. One can dream. Number 7, perfect for dodging subpoenas and draft lotteries. Number six, only come in three colors, orange, gold, and white supremacist. Number five, you can only make bank shots at Deutsche Bank. Number four, they provide no arch support, ankle support, or child support. Number three, their slogan, just make others do it and then pretend you don't know them when you get arrested. Number two, they sold out in Russia, China, and Saudi Arabia. And the number one sign, you are wearing Trump sneakers. You were drunk and they looked cool on TV. Now they have broken your feet, but you still love them because they're not black. All right, and two more. This is a fellow named Kevin King. Mr. Trump, you're the very best. It's all a matter of perspective. Mr. Trump, having heard all the radical lefty communist shit people are saying about you, I have to tell you, they're wrong. The truth is, and believe me, I know more about truth than anyone. 
you're a record setter. Trust me, I probably know more about record setters than anyone. I have seen some of the best people setting records, the best records ever. Everyone says so, and you, Mr. Trump, have set far more records than anyone. 91 indictments. What's that, Mr. Trump? 91 so far? Amazing. I wonder how many you'll get before you're done. No American president has even come close to this many indictments. None. I mean, look, losers get a couple of indictments, get convicted, and go to jail. But they don't have all your money and influence, do they, Mr. Trump? Speaking of money, is that mean woman Letitia James going to let you take your gold toilet from Trump Tower? I mean, that's a record right there. You're probably the only president, president who ever crapped on gold and America. Am I right? Those fake attorneys generals, they don't like gold, right? Commie bastards, all of them. They're too stupid to appreciate how rich you really are and how you're using all your money to help us true American patriots. Except for the gold toilets, those are for you. We just need working shitters. You think you can do that for us, Mr. Trump? Two weeks, you say? You're a goddamn hero, sir. You know, I was in the supermarket the other day and this big biker looking dude came up to me, tattoos and piercings and all that. This is true, believe me. And he said, did you know what my Lord and Savior, Mr. Trump, did for me? And of course I did not. With tears in his eyes, he said, a couple of years, I had 11 T jobs. Can you believe that Mr. Trump, he was working so many jobs because all those commie socialist Democrats ruining the country in 2016 to 2019. But then he said, when the fake Kung Fu, when the fake Kung Flu hit, I lost all my jobs and then my wife and kids all got sick. So I did what Mr. Trump said. I shined a torch up my wife's ass and she didn't get better. So I figured I might give her some bleach. So I gave her a little bleach in her beer before she took her Adderall. And you know what happened? I didn't, Mr. Trump, so I said, I know you're a good patriot. Everyone says so, even the blacks. Please continue. He said, my wife, she died, and then I gave some bleats to my kids, and they died too. Isn't that great? <laughs> anyway, enough. Uh, I didn't realize how long this was uh, anyway. We're, we're going to move on from uh, the corona panic, drinking, bleach, uh, curing, uh, okay. But you have other records too. Nobody has paid off porn stars like you have. Of course, all the ladies want a slice of gorgeous orange, am I right? Everyone says so. Poor Melania, she's like old and has these Chinese eyes now. Trust me, everyone sees it. So you got to grab some pussy from time to time just because you're rich. And when you're rich, they let you do it. Damn, Mr. Trump, your scorecard has got to be some kind of record. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, anyway, well, we'll go ahead and finish. Uh, speaking of records... I think you're the only president who has ever been convicted of a sex crime. Take that, Sleepy Joe. Joe isn't cool or rich enough to get convicted for paying off porn stars or for raping famous authors. That's your legacy right there, Mr. Trump. But probably the greatest record you hold, the record that will never be toppled, <clears throat> is the number of verified lies you have told. Man, that fake media didn't know whether they were coming or going. Nobody could, can tell a whopper like you, Mr. Trump. It's true, believe me. And you kept coming up with them so fast, the lying media couldn't keep up with you. That's why we MAGAs love you, Mr. Trump. You tell it like it ain't. 
But spin it like it is, we need more liars to take on that deep state that's been lying to us all these years. Fight fire with fire, am I right? Yeah, these commie Democrats just can't appreciate your stable genius. You just keep on winning for us MAGAs, and we'll keep s sending you our food money. Because who needs food when you can support a godlike man who shits on a golden throne? <laughs> but I was actually uh, very impressed and very glad to read this one by this fellow uh, who I've spoken about named Will Lockett. Will Lockett, the usual comedy that Will writes, apparently he has written an entire book. Will Lockett is the single biggest uh, techno-utopian uh, apocalyptimist on the planet. Will Lockett, more than any other person, uh, cheering on pixie dust to save the planet. So I, I thought, you know, I, I've often been wondering if Will Lockett uh, has been yanking our chain uh, about these uh, articles, but he's hawking a book on uh, Amazon, and, and I'm beginning to think that Will Lockett is playing uh, anybody swallowing this techno-utopian shit uh, for one minute. But anyway, he has stepped out of his techno-utopian uh, normal role this week with, with his nod to, uh, to Trump mania. Trump joins only fans to pay for New York fraud bond. The poor billionaire property mogul finds a brilliant way to keep his empire. On Wednesday, Donald Trump counteroffered his $454 million fraud penalty, proposing he could only pay $100 million. This comes after Trump's attorneys argued that paying the total penalty would be impossible, as the court has blocked Trump from borrowing. In response, New York Attorney General Letitia James pointed out that Trump has $600 million in liquid assets and apparently has a $2.3 billion property empire which he can use to pay the penalty. Otherwise, she will seize his assets. Trump's attorneys rebuffed this threat, stating that Trump cannot spend his liquid assets or sell his properties as he has a medical condition called compulsive greediness, or CG. CG is a little-known condition in medical science, though it is believed that most boomers suffer severely from it, despite copious evidence of Trump suffering from this horrific medical condition the court dismissed Trump's counteroffer. As such, Donald Trump has launched an OnlyFans to pay for his fraud penalty. <laughs> so, now paying fans can watch Trump screw minorities, the economy, geopolitical stability, and the climate, as well as copious amounts of self-fellatio. Trump is also offering a premium tier where you can watch videos of him teaching you how to grab pussy, him being dominated by Putin, and him doing ASMR. I have no clue what ASMR is. No clue. Where he yells and slurs racist, self-congratulatory gibberish in your ear for over an hour. Tucker Carlson and Marjorie Taylor Greene are encouraging fellow Republicans to buy the premium tier as they claim Trump is the perfect representation of honest Republican Christian morals. But it's, but it's not just Donald Trump. Joe Biden has used this to uh, as an opportunity to bolster his presidential campaign and launch his own OnlyFans. 
on Biden's rival OnlyFans page, you can watch Joe Biden fuck up the Middle East, inappropriately touch women, pull out too quickly, and forget what he is doing in the middle of intercourse. Unlike Trump's page, Biden's profits will go directly to his mate Netanyahu and the IDF. Sadly, Biden's page is not selling well. Buyers are waiting to see if Bernie Sanders or Michelle Obama will release their OnlyFans. In contrast, Trump's OnlyFans has been so wildly popular that the poor old real estate mogul has announced he is on track to keep his billion dollar property empire and liquid assets. Some analysts have called into question whether Trump is actually turning a profit on this content as the cost of a daily full body spray fake tan and single use lifelike penis extension is likely exceeding the page's current revenue. The issue is compounded by the fact that Trump is being sued for fraud and false advertising over the page as the only content posted so far is of him eating a burger naked while posting gob shit on Truth Social. I guess you cannot teach a very old, racist, tyrannical, pathological, lying, avaricious dog new tricks. <laughs> Thank you, Will Lockett, for uh, <laughs> some humor almost as funny as your last uh, article on nuclear fusion or whichever one it was. But anyway, now that uh, we have gotten the maggots panties in a wad uh, and brought out Trump's online army to uh, be set loose on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, it is time for me to make my, oh shit, I need to make my sundown margarita for the end times and go hang out with uh, all of my friendly Trump tarred neighbors down on the dock watching the sun set over the end times on this gorgeous day as we uh, count down the days till Donald Trump back in the White House. <coughs> oh my God.